The Boeing company issued safety advice after a 737 MAX jetliner crashed into the Java Sea last week. Indonesia plans to produce 60,000 electric-powered motorcycles in 2019. Five Indonesian products are participating in China's online shopping festival, Singles Day. Welcome to our video daily updates highlighting important issues in politics, business, economy, sports, technology, and culture. I'm Anna Cecilia Regalado, and this is The Daily Post from The Jakarta Post. United States plane manufacturer Boeing Company is advising airlines on procedures to deal with false readings from a plane sensor that authorities say malfunctioned on Line Air JT610 that crashed into the Java Sea last week. Boeing Company issued an operations manual bulletin on November 6th, which directed the crew to use existing guidelines when dealing with erroneous input from the angle of attack or AOA sensor. The sensor is designed to maintain an airflow over a plane's wings. A malfunction of the sensor is said to possibly lead to an aerodynamic stall, which can send the aircraft into an abrupt dive. The bulletin was issued based on preliminary findings from a recent Boeing 737 MAX jetliner crash, which was used by Line Air Flight JT610. The National Transportation Safety Committee, or KNKT, confirmed the bulletin on Wednesday, saying that it had requested the plane manufacturer to issue a warning about the possible faulty AOA sensor. State-owned construction company PT Wijayakarya, or WICA, together with private firm Gesitz Technology Indo, are planning to produce 60,000 electric-powered motorcycles in 2019. President Joko Widodo took the opportunity to test ride a prototype unit that will eventually be mass-produced for the Indonesian market within the Presidential Palace Complex on Wednesday. Named as Gesitz, the automatic motorcycle is designed with a 5-kilowatt electric motor that can run for 80 to 100 kilometers on one charge, which was currently reported to take about 2 to 3 hours for a full battery. The president claimed the production of Gesitz would be truly 100% Indonesian-made in the future. Indonesian food and beverage products will be sold on Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba Group on Singles Day on an online shopping festival held annually on November 11th in China. Five Indonesian products will be for sale at the upcoming event, including instant noodles, coffee and finger snacks. The products will be sold on Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba Group's Tmall Global platform via the Indonesian Pavilion, which was launched on November 2nd in Shanghai. Tmall Global serves as an import platform that Alibaba provides for international brands to reach Chinese consumers. According to Tmall, this year's event will be the first time Indonesian products will appear at the festival. The Singles Day, also known as the 1111 Global Shopping Festival, is similar to Indonesia's National Online Shopping Day, or Harbolnas, held annually on December 12th. So that is all for our daily updates. Stay tuned at thejakartapost.com and follow all our social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, or read our daily newspaper for more updates and news. I'm Anna Cecilia Regalado of the Jakarta Post, signing off.